Hey everyone, Matt here with a quick disclaimer before getting into today's video. So here I'm going to be painting the Dark Young from Mansions of Madness, and this guy is by far and away the biggest miniature that I've painted so far. And because of that, I use a much larger number of techniques than what I have in any one single mini in the past. And because of those techniques, I do a lot more sharing of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and why I'm doing it in that particular way than what I have in other videos. And obviously the more that I talk, the longer that it makes the video. And so this video is much, much longer than any other video that's come up so far. And I'm very, very mindful of that. So what I've done is I've uploaded uh, the Dark Young video in two different versions. There's this one, which is episode 15, where I've cut out all of the talking except for the intro and the outro. And that obviously makes it much, much shorter. But if you do want to listen to what I have to share, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and what I've done in the past that's led me to paint in that way, then go check out episode 14, where I've left all of the talking in. So if you're here just to watch me paint, keep it here on episode 15. But if you want to listen to um, yeah, what I have to share, then go check out episode 14. But whichever one you end up going with, thank you very, very much for checking out another one of my videos. And as always, happy painting. Hey everyone, today on the Plastic Canvas, we're painting a Dark Young from Mansions of Madness. from the Plastic Canvas so welcome to another Mansions of Madness miniature painting video. Mansions of Madness is a co-op exploration game where players take on the role of paranormal investigators and then depending on the scenario that they've chosen go into a specific location to explore it, gather evidence and clues to try and get to the bottom of some sort of paranormal activity. Uh, now uh, you know as if that wasn't hard enough um, there are some bad guys to go up against to keep the investigators on their toes and our Dark Young here is one of those bad guys. Um, like all the other minis that I've painted so far, in the base we've got a spot here for the card to go in. Um, got the name, a couple of numbers there that are referred to during the, during the game. And on the back we've got some flavour text that says, It seems as a tree, an enormous bulk with branches of writhing tentacles all drawing prey into its hungry mouths. Now what I think I've worked out from this card here, if you've been watching the series so far you would have seen that there's a few of these bases where I haven't been able to get the card out. And what I think might have happened is where, um, where we've glued these guys down to the bases. We um, we did that straight away because uh, these just don't fit well into the base. They keep falling out. We didn't want to have to keep putting them back every time. We glued them in. If there was one where there was a peg that went through over the card, um, maybe some of the glue has actually um, gone into the card and glued it in because there's no spot there um, on this base and I can slide that straight out. So um, yeah, I think that might've been what, uh, what the issue was there. Um, but there we go, so we've got some some artwork there for our for our dark young. Um, yeah, like the others, lots of brown, um, a little bit of sort of a tinge of green. Um, but yeah, it won't be won't be sticking strictly to this. Um, I'll I'll go into it a little bit more later with what my concept's going to be. Um, but yeah, so a couple of different things about this guy to the other minis that I've been painting so far. First is just the size of it. This is by far the biggest mini that I've painted so far. I've just recently finished Mr. B. That's what I called him because I have no idea how to actually say his name. Um, and if I just bring him in off the side, there he is there. Um, so you can just see the size, the size difference there. And Mr. B is um, a pretty typical size mini that I've been painting so far. So you can see, um, yeah, quite a lot bigger. So yeah, looking forward to getting into this guy. A um, couple of the early stages will be um, getting rid of these mold lines. Um, I haven't bothered with that so far with any of the other minis because of the scale and the detail. I just haven't thought it's been worth spending the time doing that. Um, but, you know, with this guy, you can see some, um, you know, there's a decent mould line there, a um, bit of a dag, 
sort of in there, a couple of spots that um, really do need to be cleaned up because they are quite noticeable. So yes, that'll be the first step. And then I'll get into some priming. Um, I'm gonna be priming in a different way to what I have been so far, so I'll, I'll stop and talk about that when I get into it. But yeah, so I'll get those, get those lines cleaned up um, and then I'll have a chat about how I'm gonna be priming this guy.
So with that matte varnish done, our Dark Young is finally finished. He is ready to go into the box and to go up against our paranormal investigators within the game. Um, I am super, super stoked with how this guy came out. Um, obviously, compared to all of the other minis that I've done in the past, this guy is much, much bigger. And I wasn't sure... Um, yeah, exactly how we turn out because I'm used to, you know, painting minis that are this guy with much, much smaller surfaces. Um, I thought having, yeah, these, these bigger surfaces to paint and, um, yeah, just with sort of the extra detail, I didn't know if, like, my skills that I've built up so far in my time in the hobby, which hasn't been that really that long, um, whether they'd sort of stand up to, to this guy. But, no, I'm really, really happy with how he came up. You know, the, um, the concept that I had, well, the... The approach that I took at the start was to make the tentacles really, really stand out, um, and I think I managed to achieve that. I think they're where, um, you know, sort of people's eyes are going to be drawn to uh, straight away, um, and then getting those blends from one part to another sort of kind of makes that quite seamless, um, and then really, really happy with the shading and the highlighting that I got through the legs especially, um, and using that um, layering approach as opposed to just using a wash and then um, and then bringing the base coat um back up from there and then highlighting. Um, so yeah, so I got some really, really good depth. Um, and then obviously having my first go at doing a proper base and yeah, really, really happy with how that came out. Um, so yeah, I, I, as I mentioned, I watched that video on the Watch It Paint It channel um, and I just sort of more or less took the same approach. And yeah, there's some really, really good levels of vegetation in there and just kind of really completes the look as opposed to what I've done with the smaller ones, which was just enough to kind of sell the the context of where they would be. But with this guy, I really wanted to actually create a, a, a proper scene or landscape. Um, and yeah, really, really happy with how that's come up. So overall, um, this is absolutely my, my favorite mini that I've painted both in terms of the actual enjoyment of painting, but then the, the final sort of end product. Um, there's, there's really nothing in here that I would like to go back and, and change. I think over time I would be able to do it better, but the overall look, really, really happy. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's finally done. This guy took a lot, lot longer than any other mini that I've done so far. Um, and, yeah, now that it's done, I'm happy, ready to go on to, on to some other ones. So I really, really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching me paint uh, the Dark Young. Um, as always, hope there's something that you've been able to take away from this and using your own painting, or at the very least, you've simply enjoyed watching me watching me paint him up. Um, and yeah, please do uh, leave a comment down below, something that you liked about the video, something that you, th you think can be improved, um, and also whether um, the way that I was putting the paint colours up in the corner here was effective, or if you think there's another way that I can go about doing that, I'd like to hear back about that as well. But yeah, so please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed to keep up to date with these videos as they keep coming out, not just from Mansions of Madness, but different series as well. And, uh, yeah, I think with, uh, with all that being said, um, this is Matt from The Plastic Canvas signing out. Happy painting, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>